Concussions uh, are making headlines uh, all over the place concerning uh, children and sports, and uh, snowboarding and skiing are uh, are one of the areas where those types of injuries can occur. And I have Patrick Brown on the uh, line with me right now. Patrick has been practicing for over 20 years. He's been voted into Best Lawyers Canada and Lexpert. He's a past president of the Ontario Trial Lawyers Association and has dedicated his career to representing the serious and catastrophically injured. Patrick, how are you this morning, sir? I'm great, Rick. How are you? Well, I'm good, thank you. Now, like I was saying, concussions are a big part of the headline. Skiing and snowboarding, obviously popular recreational and competitive sports activities for children and youth. And injuries associated with both activities are frequent, and they can be pretty serious. Uh, Obviously, uh, it's something that uh, we're all aware of. How significant is the risk of serious injury from skiing or snowboarding? Rick, there's, there's the, obviously there are risks, and it's like any sport. There's no doubt skiing and snowboarding are, are great winter pastimes for families. I, I go up with my family up to Collingwood uh, every weekend, and my, my girls snowboard, and me and my wife ski, and it's just the overall benefits associated with that type of activity, a fit and active lifestyle, is huge. But as it, with any sport, there obviously is risk. And uh, in snowboarding and uh, skiing, believe it or not, uh, when it comes down to emergency room attendances, uh, Rick, you find uh, that they rank one in one and two on hospital visits uh, for winter activities. So wow. there is risk, and, and, and people do get hurt, especially young kids and teens, and they do find themselves at the local emergency department. Um, some some more significant injuries than others, but um, it, it is a sport that does have certain elements of risk. Absolutely. Uh, how, can, how can these injuries be reduced? Um, you know, it, it's a responsibility of everyone. I mean, firstly, having proper, proper equipment. Uh, helmets. Helmets obviously reduce the concussion, the severity of a concussion. Okay, so a, a, a serious concussion or even a worse injury. What's the next step a parent or a coach should take? Um, if somebody else is partly responsible for that type of injury, you should contact a, a lawyer to see whether or not there is any recourse. Uh, sometimes if the injuries like spinal cord injuries or severe traumatic brain injuries uh, require a lifelong uh, uh, of, 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 of help and assistance, and um, uh, that should be checked out with a lawyer and see if there's, there's somebody who might be responsible in part for, for this accident. If nobody is... Uh, then that's fine, but uh, you should get it checked out. Okay, and now if, if our listeners out there want more information, can you direct them to a website? Yeah, absolutely. Go to www.pialaw.ca, and um, that will direct you to uh, three of the top uh, personal injury law firms uh, in Ontario. Okay, that's, uh, that's great. Patrick Brown uh, from PIA Law, thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks, Rick.